Hey, uh, this is Edward from HAXL, the founding partner of HAXL, and also I'm the math department head in this center. So basically, if you're watching this video right now, I know you probably know your exam is coming soon in a few weeks time. So um, I decided to make a video for a math standard level exam. Okay, so basically I'll reveal all the tricks for you and all the tips that I know for you to get a level seven. Okay, so I'll divide into two parts in uh, this video. The first part it will be the topic that you must need to study. Okay, and also the second part will be a strategy that, that I will use in the exam condition. Okay, so first of all, we know uh, math standard level, we got six topics and um, like what topic you have to focus on. So for this coming exam, I believe you have to uh, know a few topics, okay? So first, that is binomial expansion, okay? Need to know how to expand the n bracket r thing, okay? Which is the binomial expansion, right? So n r is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial, okay? Make sure you revise well on this kind of question, okay? But actually over the 20 years of password question, there's only one question on this, which is on the November 15th. So you can try to do that question, yeah? And also secondly, so that's for topic one, binomial expansion, and for topic two is function, okay? So for function, obviously you need to know the, um, the, the quadratic equation, okay? So like the smile phase and the set phase, completing square, and also the domain and range, okay? But um, also I think for the coming year, you will see uh, one question on the discriminant. Okay, so discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So make sure you understand the concept equals zero, bigger than zero, or smaller than zero. Okay, so if bigger than zero, that means this discrete, uh, distinct roots, okay, different roots. Equal to zero equals root, okay? So, and also smaller than zero, no real root. So you need to know how to solve the inequality, okay? Smaller than zero, bigger than zero, yeah? So many students do that wrong. And for topic three is the trigonometry, okay? So for trigonometry, uh, two things you need to know the identities double angles okay and also um like the cosine square cosine square theta plus sine square theta equals to one right okay so you need to know how to make use of this equation to simplify the equation okay and the second thing you need to know is the transformation of the graph yeah so it's like a cosine bx plus c plus d right so you need to understand the meaning of the a b c d okay so this is usually like two year ones okay so I believe coming year exam, you will see one question on this, yeah? Because usually they can combine combine with the differentiation question, okay? So if you mess up on this part, then you'll mess, you'll mess up in the, in, the, in the part later, okay? So, and for topic four um, is the uh, vectors, okay? So vector, make sure you understand the unit vector, okay? And also the vector velocity questions, okay? So this year, probably you'll see the applica application questions, okay? So if I give you, uh, let's say, an equation one, two, three, plus t, uh, one, uh, three, two, one, okay? So find the speed of the uh, car, let's say, so that, that describes the car. Then you know that you need to find the magnitude of the direction vector, okay? So that is the key trick you need to know, so. For velocity, um, for vector, okay, make sure you understand all the questions on the application questions, yeah? So that's on my vector note 5. So if you're inter interested, you can revise on that topic, yeah? And also for um, the topic 5 is probability, okay? So definitely you see this kind of question. It's actually most, most of the question will be on the paper 2, okay? It's GDC question. Normal distribution and binomial distribution, okay? So make sure you understand the binomial distribution like BPD and also BCD, okay? And what's the difference between that, yeah? Okay, so you can go through my binomial distribution notes. And also for normal distribution, we will have two functions you will have to use, okay? Inverse normal, okay? And also normal CDF. So some student will ask me, when should I use the normal PDF? Okay, normal PDF, you can always ignore that, okay? So this button, this function doesn't exist in the IB exam, okay? So for normal PDF, you don't need to use that, okay? Yeah? And uh, you, need to, you need to understand the at least, more than, and uh, less than, okay? So like mo at most, okay? So this kind of wording, okay? What does it mean exactly in the questions, okay? So make sure you do all the questions related to this kind of um, topics, okay? So, and then for topic six, it will be on differentiation and integration, okay? That is a must topic in the IB exam. So almost like in paper one and paper two, you see at least one question on this, okay? So for um, the differentiation question, I would suggest you to do the recent year past paper, okay? Like one five and also one four uh, paper, it will be good, okay? So because the 
question actually also you have to do the November paper as well okay so because the question becomes harder and harder so they will ask you to use the graph to solve it okay and also ask you to find like the minimum distance maximum distance optimization okay so all all that kind of questions you have to revise okay so differentiation you can expect you will see one hard question on that okay and for integration don't forget to revise the um, integration by substitution which is a news a uh, new topic in the IB exam, so starting in 2014. So now it's 2016, okay? So basically you will still see one question on that, okay? So integration by substitution. So now I'll, I'll tell you when should I use integration by substitution, okay? So whenever you see a fraction, if the bottom is like x squared, okay? So let's say uh, 2x plus 1 over x squared, yeah? So the top you have 1x and the bottom you have x, uh, you have x squared, right? So Basically, in the integration, there's no product rule, no quotient rule. So 2x plus 1 over x squared. In this kind of question, you have to let u to be the bottom, okay? So u equals x squared, and then you differentiate that by using the integration by substitution skills, okay? But if you don't, don't understand what I'm talking about right now, so I will suggest you to do my notes, integration note 7, okay? So that's kind of, that's very important for your exam because you see at least one question okay so that's all the topics uh, that that's most of the topics that you need to know in the IB exam okay so make sure you revise all that well and the second part would be on a strategy okay so when you're in the exam center okay exam condition so what should you do so should you do the hard question first you should you do the section B first or section A first okay so from my experience okay I'll always do the EC question first okay so I start with section A because most of the time for um, Paper one, okay, and paper two, the section A question is really easy, okay, from one to question one to six or one to five, they are easy. And then you will see some hard question at like uh, question six and question seven, okay. So in that case, if, you, if you're stuck at like one question for too long, okay, so what does it mean by too long? So if, I, if you look at the question, okay, then uh, you, you like wasting already five minutes on that question and you still have no clue on that, okay, you can just directly skip you can just straightly skip that question okay to next question the reason why I do that is you can save most of the time to do all the easy question okay and you get all the marks for that first yeah okay and then uh, after you do that then you can just uh, if you have time then you just go back to uh, the hard question so basically you, you can make sure you get most of the most of the marks in the paper right because you won't miss out the marks that you know you can you can get the marks right so and also the strategy for section B, uh, the part A, B, C questions. Okay, you see like many parts in the section uh, section B. So many students will, will find like okay, if a, a question, most of the time you can do uh, you, you can find the answer. But when you do section uh, when you do part B, maybe you find it difficult, right? So some of students may use like may use my strategy. They just skip that question and then they they do other question. But when they come back, they still don't know how to do it, right? So in that case, how can you like? get most of the marks okay so right now uh, you, you can you, you have to listen carefully okay so whenever you see show that question okay show something equals to something okay so let's say uh, they will tell you like show that the equation is equals to x plus y let's say uh, something like that right so whenever you see show that question that means you can use the answer from that to use the set to, to do the second part okay so let's say b show that a equals to 40 then you just use A equals 40 to do the question C, even you don't know how to do B, right? So don't give up on the part B, uh, part C, okay? Even you don't know how to do the part B, right? You get what I mean? So whenever it's sometimes the, like, the IB question, they will give you the answer for, uh, they just want you to show the steps to get the answer, right? So even you cannot show the steps, you can still use the answer to do the following part. Yeah, so that's the trick. So uh, sometimes even you don't know how to do like the middle of the part, you can still do, you can still tackle the question like in the part D and part E, okay? So make sure you underline the question you have show that, okay? So, and also the answer, then that will remind you, you can focus time on that kind of questions, okay? Because you may, under, you, you may be able to solve the question at the end, right? Okay, so that's all the tips uh, for your math standard level exam. Okay, so for math higher level, for math studies, I'll make a separate video on that. Okay, so wish you all the best in the IB exam. And even after the exam, if you have time, you can come back to see us and take a photo. So um, yeah, I'll miss you guys and good luck.